when someone goes through something horrific like that, all of the people that he's trained with, that he knows intimately, that he probably jokes around with or has knows their families and sees, and especially someone like him who is giving of himself in such a selfless way to be a firefighter and to go out and protect people and to care for people, not being able to care for his team and for part of his own and to be left there as the only one, it would be completely normal, again, because of that feeling of extreme powerlessness, to feel guilty about it and to be running through his mind. What could I have done differently? Why was it me and not somebody else? He knows those people intimately, so he knows the devastation of their families and what they're leaving behind. So it's, it's, a, hard, it's a hard burden to carry. It's very normal for someone to not be able to tolerate that at first, to avoid or to shut down altogether. It's not uncommon, especially in the first few weeks after a tragedy like this, to see someone with a very limited range of expression, almost looking numb. Um, it's called dissociating, disconnecting from the event. That would be a normal way that our body helps us cope with something that's overwhelming. When you have something, a group of such young, healthy, um, trained people who are strong in the community and 19 of them die and only one of them lives, it would be normal for the whole community to really feel the impact of that vulnerability.